The Commission of Inquiry into the Uganda National Roads Authority heard that six audit reports on malpractices at Waybridges, including in Barara, Lukaya, Busia, Mbale, and Busitema, were submitted to the UNRWA management, but no action has been taken. Some of the union officials accused of neglecting their duty have appeared before the nine-member probe team. Acting UNRWA Director of Operations, Justin Ongom, who supervises Waybridge operations countrywide, was asked to name the ministers accused of writing letters exempting some trucks. They to have been overloaded from axle weight checks. We used to get out of Biandala and then maybe Biabagam. Now these days we have uh, Mr. Cheb, Dr. Chebrot and also Biabu. So the, the two are issuing, and yet the, the access the minister. The UNRWA manager of AXO Weight Control, Jeffro Barra, was questioned on why he never took action against the ministers, soldiers, MPs, and local council leaders implicated in various reports in helping overloaded trucks by passway bridges. When you ask for specifics, you are not given. So uh, what action can you take? You take blanket. Obara was asked on why cleaners were managing some way bridges across the country. What remedial action has been taken? I did not because it's already known fact that we, we are understaffed. The commission asked Obara why Ibrahim Kasita Kakosa was still working as a way bridge controller in Barara, yet the IGG had recommended his sacking. Do you actually have power? To supervise Ibrahim? Not all the power. The effectiveness of the manual way bridge system, where the controllers insert figures manually, which is prone to abuse by the managers, was brought to the attention of the supervisor. We've been there, Mr. Manager, sir. There's a drop down. We have been there, and it is manual. That is manual. What do you call that? What do you call that? If you can choose how many access to put, what do you call that? If it's not money. Yeah, I'm, I'm Excuse still explaining. Me. Come here oh. when you are ready. Okay? Don't come here and start talking as if we haven't been there and haven't read what you've been doing. As he concluded his testimony before the commission, more hard questions were fired at Obara. Would one be fair to conclude that actually this way bridge and axle load management it's not being done well at UNRWA. Yeah, based on that is. Reports show that inefficiencies at the way bridges costs the taxpayer over 205 billion shillings in road repairs annually. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.